Alright guys, today I'm going to show you the best way that i found to farm motocross parts. So if you look at all these tracks right here, some are worth 15000 some are worth 13000 Since you're farming parts, you might as well be farming money too. So I usually go for the tracks that pay out the best, that have the shortest time. So if you look at the world record times on here, you got most of them are about a minute 40. And the other 15,000 one here is over two minutes. So I choose this track here, one, because it's the easiest, but two, because it pays out the most and it's less than two minutes. Now, of course, that's the world record time, so you're just using that as an example. I usually run the track in about two minutes. The AI bikes will run the track in about two and a half minutes. So as long as you beat the AI bikes, then you'll get the rewards. So of course we're going to change this to Ace Difficulty to get the best rewards and more money. Um, Ace Difficulty, with these shortcuts, you should be able to run if your bike is like level 50 or higher. Uh, if your bike isn't level 50 yet, then of course run normal or hard mode until you can get to about level 50. But after that, with these shortcuts, you should be able to be Ace Mode level 50 or higher. Uh, and I'll show you the way that I run this track. Now the thing to remember with motocross is it's fun to take jumps, but you actually go faster if you can avoid jumps. Every time you take a jump and go in the air, you actually lose about 20 mile an hour of speed. So if you can avoid jumps, then you'll stay faster. While the AI bikes are guaranteed to take all the jumps, therefore slowing them down. Also, with the sharp turns, like the S-turns in here, um, since they changed the bike's handling, I found the easiest way to take those turns is if you let off the gas just slightly and then hit the gas again, your bike will turn sharp and almost drift through those turns, making them a lot easier. I'll show you when we get there. Right off the start, just go ahead and blast off all your nitrous and get in front of these guys and head to the left off the track to avoid this big jump here get the checkpoint and then avoid these two small jumps here. Now at the fork you want to take the right side because that will line you up to be on the left side at this fork. The left side here lines you up for taking this sharp turn here. Now let off the gas and hit it again you should make the turn just fine. Now you can go on the left side of those jumps to take that shortcut. Hit this jump with a spot of nitrous and you should be able to clear that tabletop. And then hit a little bit of nitrous here and you should clear that jump and keep your speed going. Now here's the S-turns I was talking about before. Just let off the gas a little bit and then hit it again and your bike will turn really sharp. Now right here you want to get a lot of speed and aim for this light pull while hitting nitrous. Whoa. And land on that track and you'll actually miss that second set of S-turns which is probably the biggest shortcut on the whole track. Now back here, rinse and repeat. Just go to the left side to miss this jump. Go to the left side to miss these two jumps. You'll notice right now I'm doing about 90. When I hit this jump, I lose. I go all the way down to 67, 70 miles an hour. From here I was 80, and I go all the way down to 55. So yeah, you lose about 20 miles an hour just by hitting jumps. So just skip these jumps as much as possible. Again, hit a spot of nitrous to clear that tabletop. Slow down for this turn, and then hit nitrous here again. Hit this S turn. And coming out of this S turn, you want to carry as much speed as possible. Hit your nitrous, and aim for this light pole, and land on this bit of track right here. And again, that's the biggest shortcut in the whole track. The AI bikes will be going around every jump and everything slowing them down. You can also jump over checkpoints, but of course catching air slows you down, so I only jump over the checkpoints at the end. Now here I like to wait somewhere around this arch, pick up the loot, and hit retry. This way the loot doesn't go to your mailbox, you can pick up the loot and immediately retry skipping all the loading screens except for this quick one right here. Again, blast off all your nitrous, and head to the left. Take the 
right side here. That lines you up for the left side here. Slow down and then hit the gas again. And then just try not to hit that little post right there. Skip all of these jumps. Clear the tabletop. A little nitrous here to keep your speed. Let off the gas and then hit it again to make these sharp turns, especially these S turns here. And make sure you come out of this turn carrying as much speed as possible and hit all your nitrous to land on this track here, skipping that S turn. I usually run this track maybe five or ten times until my inventory starts to get full and then I'll switch out parts and make my bike even faster until I get maxed out parts. Once you get all maxed out parts, then I'll, about every five or ten races, I'll stop and delete all of the blue and green parts that I may get um, just so that I can hold on to all the purple and gold parts. Yeah, it's that easy. You'll notice I'm 16 seconds ahead of the AI. Easy race. About 2 minutes. 2.5 minutes, that's fine. Wait under this arch right here. Wait for your rewards to drop. Pick them up and then just hit retry. Sit here and just keep doing this until you get all the parts you need. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you wish. Catch you later. Hope this helps.